For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from the American Society of Clinical Oncology's 2010 Breast Cancer Symposium in National Harbor, Maryland. After 10 years, the breast cancer recurrence rate in patients randomized to anastrozole was 19.7%, compared with 24% in those who received tamoxifen. The effectiveness of anastrozole compared with tamoxifen increased over time. The difference in time to relapse between the two increased from 2.7% at 5 years to 4.3% at 10 years. Why was it important to conduct this review? The ATAC trial was the first study in which aromatase inhibitor anastrozole was compared against standard therapy, which was tamoxifen in high-risk women who were postmenopausal and had hormone receptor positive disease, to determine whether the newer drug anastrozole was more effective in preventing recurrence of cancer in these patients. Initial study data, which was at three years five years and about eight years did show that women who were given this drug had lower risk of recurrence while they were on therapy and they were off therapy for two to three years. Objective of this long-term review was to look at the benefit of therapy five years after completion of therapy. What's the take-home message for doctors? The key take-home message for the physicians who take care of breast cancer patients that today we have a drug which is more effective, has a better safety profile, and keeps more women alive free of cancer in the long run. Even after completion of therapy up to 10 years, patients who were given the newer drug have lower risk of recurrence, lower risk of developing second primary breast cancer, lower risk of endometrial cancer, and after completion of therapy, the risk of bone-related events becomes similar to tamoxifen. What are the next steps for research? In this study, the one thing we have answered that aromatase inhibitor anastrozole given for five years is better therapy compared to tamoxifen. Question is, what is the optimal duration of aromatase inhibitor therapy? How long patients should remain on this therapy? And role of aromatase inhibitor is also being looked at it as a preventative agent in ongoing studies uh, in some of the ongoing trials to see that women who are at a high risk of developing breast cancer but they have not developed breast cancer, whether it is more effective agent from the secondary endpoint in this clinical trial. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Splee.